right guys so today we got the Arosi Forte gaming chair and it actually comes in quite a large box and it is quite nice and has all the pictures and everything so it shipped just like this and their slogan is keep yourself in the game so this is a fabric edition and they also do have the leather and it does come in a few colors so I got the black so you can get white red or blue but I prefer a more subtle kind of look so here's a little bit more info about the chair and I really like how they got this laid out all the dimensions how wide it is how tall it is on the back and then the bottom so this chair can accommodate up to 260 pounds and the weight on this box is 58.4 pounds but the chair itself weighs 50 all right so let's open it up so there's two straps that we need to cut now when you do cut this tape be careful it says here no knife so don't go deep in there just lightly on the surface all right and this is the first thing we see so we have the base and it is all plastic but it's really heavy duty feels very strong and robust it does look like some kind of metal insert in the middle all right so we have some cardboard and right off the bat it looks really nice so this is the backrest and it is individually wrapped for cardboard and here we can see the bottom cushion and it's actually quite wide or it looks really wide so all right so we got a few more things in the box some parts and the mechanism and it looks like our instruction manual and that's everything for the box in this box the mechanism part and it seems to be pretty good quality so here's the functions you can lock it from tilting back and forth or you go up and down by pulling on it and we do have a tensioner here to control how much tension is on the rocking and in this other box we see more pieces so it looks like we have some trim pieces uh, telescoping trim for the shock Looks like gloves with an Allen wrench and our casters and these wheels look really nice and our shock so I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing in here and this little telescope trim goes over it it covers the shock where it I guess looks a little nicer all right and so that's all of our pieces so this shouldn't be very hard to put together let's go ahead and look at the manual so you get a few things so here's a little important note that tells you that there are bolts already on the backrest just in case you're looking for them a little safety paper kind of tells you how to take care of the chair and how to use it properly and here we have the instructions of how to put it together okay so step one we gotta click our casters into the base so I guess I shouldn't have put the shock in yet let's go ahead and take it out for now so we're gonna flip this around we're gonna grab our casters and they definitely look pretty nice the wheels spin quite easy they are all plastic looks like and metal where it's needed so looks pretty robust overall and they should just clip in right in here so I'm just gonna push on it and that's it so very simple so you just want that to go all the way down in there to this lip right here all right so we got our wheels on we can flip it around and that's what it looks like very nice and by the way it's a very wide base so that's good it should have really good stability all right so step two is inserting the shock and then putting our little telescoping trim over it which we have the whole thing right here let's go ahead and put it in there all right looking good so far so step four they want us to have these going upright and then we're going to put the backrest into the lower portion so let's get this plastic off first and while we're under here check out what the bottom looks like it's quite nice all of this is metal feels very heavy duty and also all our bolts are pre-mounted right here and these green things are actually like rubber bands and I guess they're to support the weight it definitely feels like a high quality chair here all right so let's flip this thing back around and this is what our fabric looks like so the seat itself is very plush so there's plenty of cushion there so it seems like it would be very comfortable and the fabric itself I mean it looks pretty generic I guess but it looks like it's that kind that breathes very easily so you're not going to sweat on it and this is the reason why I got the fabric you know, even though I like the leather and how it looks better the fabric seems to be better overall especially if you sit in the chair a lot so very nice and over here we do have a little rosy logo so on the back of the chair we have two brackets and this one is just loose but the one on this side is our recline bracket so this is the one that has the mechanism where it reclines with this lever here and it locks it in in the exact place you need it so we're going to point these up like this and then we're going to set our backrest right on that so let's go ahead and unwrap that 
All right, so this is what the backrest looks like and it's really nice. We have another silica gel here. So the stitching looks pretty nice. And you guys can see we have a little pillow here. And if we bring that up, this is what it looks like. It's a nice little squishy pillow and it looks like you can unzip it and I guess wash it or take the insides out. And so we have a permanent logo here on the chair. And then we have little pass-throughs right in the middle. And then we got more straps going down to the lower cushion. Now, I don't think I really like the way they did that with the straps. It kind of looks like it's a little bit unfinished, I guess. I think I would have liked it better if this just kind of Velcroed even to the back or something like that. This kind of looks like it's an afterthought a bit. But in any case, there is little rosy logos right there on the plastic. That's a nice touch. And if we flip it around, we can see there's another logo in the back. And here we can see the two straps. And it looks like we can remove them, so let's go ahead and try to do that. And we can see the chair looks much cleaner already. And there are little rosy logos on the back also here on the plastic pieces. So all right, it looks super nice. And it looks like we do have zippers. So here's the backrest pillow. Once it's out, you guys can see the chair looks much nicer. All right, so let's go ahead and connect the two pieces together. And before we do that, we need to take these bolts off of the backrest. So they do provide us the Allen wrench we need. And interestingly enough, some white gloves. So I guess if you wanted to wear these, you could. So we're gonna get these bolts out, and there are two on each side. All right, so the bolts are out from the side, and so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set the backrest in between these two brackets, just like this. And the holes here will match up with the nuts that are embedded in the backrest. So let's grab our bolt, and we're just gonna start them on. So don't tighten it yet, let's go do the other side. So you might have to massage it in there a bit. It should fit, and I am pushing down on it for the holes to line up. Hey guys, simple as that, it just goes together right here on these brackets. So we can go ahead and tighten this side up all the way. Then go back to the other side and tighten these all the way up. So we did four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need to flip the chair on its side. And then 10, we're gonna install the function mechanism underneath. So let's go ahead and bring the chair down. And underneath it, we can see there are four bolts that we need to take out. All right, so all four of our bolts are out. Now we can grab our mechanism. And the way it goes, as you can see, it says here there's a sticker front pointing to the front, and that's down towards the front of the chair. So we're just gonna line up the holes and then put our bolts back in. So we're gonna run them down and then tighten them up really good. All right, so that's nice and tight. Now, while we're under here, I'm noticing that these armrest brackets here are sort of adjustable. And right now, you can see that it's slid all the way this way. So it's not much, but a little bit. And it's the same on each side. So I think what I wanna do is loosen these up and then move the armrest a little bit closer. Looks like about half an inch on each side will give you a whole inch closer because these are quite wide apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So if you're a smaller person and you feel like these are too far apart, then you can try to adjust these. All right, so I adjusted these. You can see that they're closer together. So I think that's gonna give us a better experience. All right, so we did step 10. And now for the final step, it's connecting the upper portion to the base. And so we're simply gonna set this whole chair over the top of the shock through that hole right there. So the best way for me to do it is just to insert the whole bottom assembly right into that hole just like that so you guys can kind of see and now I can flip the chair over and just like that guys our chair is pretty much built now we do have a couple more things we need to do and that is install these trim pieces and they just go on the side here and that is step 13 and 14 you're all done and so the way these go on is quite simple they just clip in we have a round tab and that will click into here and this one will click into that hole right there so let's go ahead and clip the bottom in and then the top will go into that hole so we're just gonna give it a nice little thump. And that's it, that's how it goes. It looks pretty nice, it's a very clean finish. So the same thing for this side, click the bottom in. And that's it guys, that is the chair. It's very nice, but it is all blacked out and depending on you know if you like this kind of look or not, I think it looks great. So if you do get some of the red or the white accents in the chair, you know, it might look a little more flashy, but I kind of like the subtle look. It looks quite serious and quite attractive overall. So let's go ahead and look at the details here. So starting on the top, we have the logo. We have these pass-throughs. We have this really nice bolstering here on the top, and you can see it's quite aggressive. So it makes it look really good. The stitching has got a nice design. And as we go to the bottom cushion, we can see it's quite large. So here's my hand and you can see how wide this chair is. So it should accommodate quite a large body. And this is the reason why I brought these in a bit to closer so it'll be more comfortable. And speaking about these armrests, they do have a function that is to go up and down. 
You can see it travels right there. But they do not rotate. So just up and down. And there is a little bit of play in them, which I don't know, could be annoying maybe to some people. So I'm not sure if that could be fixed or not. But if they're lower, they play less. So, so the rest do have a nice squishy material to them. And I think it should last a long time. It feels quite durable. And the rest of it is all plastic. But this piece down here is actually metal. So yeah, it seemed to be pretty nice, except for the wobble a bit. But I think most of the time, my rest stay pretty much almost all the way down. So I should be okay with that. So on the side, we have the tilt. So if you pull on this lever, and then you can adjust the backrest back and forth as you need it. And here we have the control for our mechanism. So if we pull on the lever, the chair goes up. And also we have the lock for the, for the rocking ability. So if you don't want it to rock, you just push it in and it locks it in. So pretty basic stuff, pretty much every chair has this. And obviously we have our rocking tension adjuster right here. So, so yeah, as we go to the back, we can see what that looks like. Very clean back, pass through, and a logo up there. So, so yeah, very nice chair overall and I'm quite happy with it. And we do have our pillows so we can put those back on. And the strap goes around. So the top pillow here doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty nice. But I'm definitely not crazy about the bottom pillow. I don't like all those straps going around. It just makes it look like there's too much going on. So I could tuck all this in in the back and zip tie it or something. I'll leave it like that so because it looks so much better without all those straps going everywhere. Alright guys, and this is where I'm going to use my chair in the editing office where I sit a lot and a chair like this makes it a lot more comfortable to sit for many hours. And as you guys can see, it fits here really nice with my table and it goes underneath it, no issues. Of course, this is a raising table so it can go up and down. But in any case, you can see it fits quite good in here. So the only thing I'm really worried about is that because this thing is black, you know, little crumbs and everything will always be seen. So that's maybe something to think about. I wish they had a gray option, like a dark gray. I would probably go for that. But as far as the looks go, it matches quite well with my whole setup here. So I've had this type of chair before, just a different model. And it's actually exactly the same, except that one had rotating armrests and a couple other little features. But pretty much the structure and the layout is the same. And that was also a fabric chair, and it was wonderful. So this is why I went with this one, and I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it. So if you need a good chair, not just for gaming, but, you know, editing or just sitting for long periods of time, these things are great for that. So if you want to pick one up, they are available on Amazon. And you can choose between the leather or the textile. That's what I got, it's just fabric. And the price is quite reasonable, but for some reason the textile is a little more than the leather, but the prices keep fluctuating back and forth. So like the leather one with the red is actually $2.89. So. so I'm going to leave the links in the description. Check those out. And if you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. If you're really liking this chair but you want a higher model, go check out my other video of the Arosi Gaming Chair, which is a little bit pricier, but definitely also more premium. And if you like videos like this, stay tuned for more. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.